Hi, I'm Susie. I'm 36. I'm from the northern suburbs. Um, I got involved in the Anti-Poverty Network about six months ago. Um, I attended a um, unemployment seminar at Smithfield and I thought that it was probably the most perfect thing for me to be involved with because personally I mean, I'm un unemployed and I have many credentials and I'm just looking for a fair go. I got involved with the Anti-Poverty Network. Um, by meeting Paz at the March Australia marches. Uh, I got involved with the anti poverty Network because all of a sudden Paz's things started popping up on all of my Facebook things and they made sense. I've been coordinating the anti poverty Network SA since it was formed just over um, three years ago. I, th I think the group um, is incredibly unique. It's um, really the only organisation run by low-income people for low-income people um, in the state um, and there are a few groups like it anywhere in the country. I think over and over again it's been a voice for people on welfare payments who feel under attack. The reason I feel that the Anti-Poverty Network is important is because it is one of the few groups in Australia that are made up of people in poverty. There are a handful of groups out there that represent service providers, charities, hate bodies, and um, specific causes, but very few of them are made up of people in poverty themselves. To this end, people in poverty themselves can offer a unique perspective um, both on our needs and our priorities, something that service providers often unfortunately miss. It's important because these changes that are going through that are like putting people in poverty are actually affecting, you know, people in poverty. Hence it becomes kind of important to people these changes are affecting. Anti poverty network is important to me because it shows that people care. It proves that there is something out there for the little people and we need that support. Anti-Poverty Network does so many things for so many people without even realising. It was the biggest event the Anti-Poverty Network had today and we invited uh, many different people both locally and interstate. Um, unfortunately I did miss a lot of the conference because I was making the food. <laughs> um, but it all worked out well. Oh, it was very much involved in the conference that we held. Uh, I, I did catering for both days um, because I also have hospitality background. Okay, the conference was important because it was the only conference put on in Australia by actual poor people. Normally it's like by these rich or these like corporate kind of people who don't have to worry about that kind of stuff so they don't really understand what the problem is. Some people do. We live it every day. We discovered um, through being involved in the group that they're much stronger, much more resilient and much more confident and much more articulate than they realised. And, and I think at this time where we um, have a government that is incredibly hostile towards unemployed people, disability pensioners, single parents and others on government payments, it's crucial that a group like the anti poverty network continues to stay very active and continues to empower and activate people in low incomes and give them an opportunity to participate in the political process and speak out about how government policies have impacted on their lives. Not that people in poverty um, can quickly identify a policies translation into real life, its actual effects on the ground. And I think that the Anti-Poverty Network can provide people with a sense of agency, something that other groups don't provide. One thing that Rock Up would carry and have them help you in some fashion, or have a group that will advocate on your behalf even, but it's a whole other thing to be able to join and do these things on behalf of yourself. I've known from these three years that I've been involved with groups, um, 
consistently grown year in, year out. We have a strong branch in the city, very strong, quite exciting branch in the northern suburbs, and growing branch in Port Adelaide, and to set up a branch down south where uh, there are significant levels of unemployment and hardship. Um, and I think what has brought everyone together is a sense that the Anti-Poverty Network is not only a voice for those who are doing it tough and, and who never get a fair hearing in the mainstream media, but also a community, a, a, a community of people who don't judge each other, who support each other, unlike who assist each other with sensitive issues and job agency issues. It's both a campaigning group for the big issues, the big um, threats that people on welfare payments face, but also uh, an incredibly um, warm and helpful support network. And I think that's why the group deserves um, some recognition and um, funding from, from allies. The Poverty Network is so important to me and to little people like me because without it, we don't have the support that we need. We don't have the backing, we don't have the um, ability to fight the big companies that are riding us every day. Um, the small amount of funding that we do have does not stretch far enough to help everybody. And it is so important that we keep this going. It is so very important that we keep this going because if we are able to help others, the sky's the limit, who knows where we can go.